accomplish that goal is Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson. Welcome, sir. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Good to be with you. So, um, Mr. Trump will introduce his, his wife tonight, and she'll talk about uh, Mr. Trump. What do you suppose she'll say? Well, I suspect she'll be on the personal side, uh, introducing uh, Mr. Trump in that context to America. I think that's what we want to see about, you know, who a future first lady might be about, the relationship, their history. And we're excited about that. I mean, the introduction of the uh, Trump family uh, is really a plus for the convention. Um, it took you a while to support Mr. Trump. What changed your mind? Well, you know, I started out with Mike Huckabee, Marco Rubio, but in the end, you know, the voters said, we want Donald Trump as our nominee. Uh, I'm a team player, uh, but also we've got two choices in November. And without any question, Donald Trump, the team he puts together is the right one to lead America. And so that's an easy decision in the end. And uh, I have the expression that just because my quarterback was not chosen, I'm not going to stop blocking for the team. I mean, they're going to be blocking in November for Donald Trump to win. Um, the country is at a very divided state right now. Tensions are very high. A lot of Americans don't feel safe. They worry about police on the streets, right? Protesters worry about African Americans and the way police are treating them. Um, what should Donald Trump say at this convention? to make Americans feel that he can handle that problem, that he can unify the country, that he can understand where both sides are coming from. Because as President of the United States, you have to do that. That's true, and he will express it in the right way. But let me just say, first of all, this is a time of unity in our country and support of law enforcement. Uh, you know, both sides of the political equation have expressed the sympathy, but also, more significantly, the the support for law enforcement. And we've got to be concerned not just about the men and women in blue, we have to be concerned about that, but also what I'm worried about too is the response capability. Uh, are we going to be diminishing our police response capacity because of the change in tactics uh, of those that might attack law enforcement? And so you worry about just simply carrying out the normal duties. But what, what has Mr. Trump said about that that makes you think that he's the guy that can solve that problem? Well, one, he speaks very plainly. He supports law enforcement without any question about that. And you also look at the framework of the Republican Party. We have historically been a law and order uh, party that supported strong military, but also our law enforcement and the rule of law in the United States. That's been our that's the framework in which Donald Trump will govern, and that's a, a framework that I feel comfortable. Uh, it's not a divisive context. It's a reality that uh, we understand the importance of, of how we have to have an orderly society that respects law, teaches the next generation to respect the law. And I recognize there's mistakes that are always made, but we, we deal with each individual circumstance of a mistake and say we need better training here or there's consequences that have to be taken out here. But you don't start doing the broad sweep and saying law enforcement is bad because, in fact, they are good. They need our support. Governor, thank you so much for being here. Thank and, you. Uh, I'm going to see you throughout the week, I hope. Thank, thank you. you.